Um, we're gonna make some bread today, okay? Um, try and make a bloomer loaf and maybe some rolls, okay? So we're gonna need some strong flour, so bread flour, warm water, olive oil, salt, and some yeast, and a little bit of hard work, okay? I hope you enjoy. Right, so my first job is to weigh stuff out. Okay, so we've got 500 grams of uh, bread flour, so strong flour. We need to add eight grams of salt to that. Okay, we're then gonna give it a little bit of a mixy just to incorporate the salt with the flour so when we add our yeast it doesn't come in contact with it okay we're then gonna add seven grams of yeast okay we're then going to do the same thing again so we're gonna give it a mix okay to incorporate it and then we're going to add 10 grams of olive oil or oil, completely up to you. Uh, butter, oil, you can do whatever you like. Okay, the next one is 310 grams of warm water. Okay. So you go 310 grams. Okay, we've got a little bit too much. So we're going to take a bit out. So 310 grams. Right. So, next job is we're just going to, with a fork, gently bring it together. Okay, it's too wet to get your hands in unless you want to get really dirty. Completely up to you. So we're going to bring it together. And then we're going to put it on the bench. And we're going to knead it. Okay. So, we bring it together, okay? So this is what we call a shaggy dough, okay? So it's all rough and ready, all right? It's not all incorporated yet. So, we get to this point, we can put it on the bench, okay? You can scrape your bowl up. With one of these bread scrapers, okay? So we scrape out your bowl, like so, and then we're just gonna start kneading, all right? So we're stretching the gluten out, okay? So all we're gonna do is we bring it towards you, push. Bring it towards you, push, turn it, bring it towards you, push, okay? So we're now gonna do that for 10 minutes, okay? Because at the moment, there's no structure to it, yeah, okay? So one half, 10 minutes will be quite elastic, okay? That's what we need to hold all the gas that's gonna come out of the yeast, okay? So we'll see you in 10. Right, so after 10 minutes, this is what your dough should look like, okay? It's nice and smooth, okay? It's elasticy, okay? We've worked the glue in, so that's 10 minutes, okay, of kneading like this, okay? Just gently. So now we're going to um, cover this up in a bowl and prove it for about an hour or an hour and a half until it's doubled in size, okay? So, we've got a bowl, okay? We're gonna use some one cow trail, just gently, lightly grease it, okay? So, we've got our dough, okay? We just form it into a nice ball, okay? And then that goes into our lightly greased bowl, okay? A little bit on top, and then we're gonna cover that with some cling film and leave it for about an hour, hour and a half until doubling in size. Right, so our dough has been rising for the last nearly hour and a half now. Okay, it's more than doubled in size, as you can see. Okay, so it's lovely and springy, okay. 
So what we're going to do is going to turn it onto the surface, okay? Let's not knock, don't try not to knock too much the air out, okay? Try to be a bit gentle, okay? You don't have to kill it, all right? So that's our lovely dough, all right? So we're going to shape this into a bloomer, okay? So a large bloomer. So all I'm going to do first is bring it into a ball. Okay, so bring the sides in. All right, flip it over. And then we use our hands to cup it. And just, you want to just pull gently, okay? You see, just cup your hands around it, pull gently. Same again. Okay, we're just going to shape it into a nice ball first. Okay. So shape, shape, shape. So nice ball. Okay. And we're just going to let that relax just for five minutes. Okay, then we're going to reshape it. So we're just going to cover it on the bench with a little bit of cling film and leave it for five It's been resting for five minutes. Okay, first job, we just need to put a little bit of flour on the base. Okay, not too much. Okay, nice little dusting. All right, and then we're going to flop it over, yeah? So, top side on the bottom. Okay, so this bottom bit's a little bit more sticky. Okay, this is what we need. And what we're going to do, we're just going to pin it out. All right, so a bit like you're making a pizza dough, all right? So this is why we've let it rest, okay? For just five minutes to relax it, okay? And then we're going to make a triangle, okay? So into a nice round. We bring both sides in. Okay, so triangle, all right? Then we'll bring this bit up and over and push. Up and over, push, okay? So you see how I'm doing it? And then when we get to this, the seam, we're trying to get a little bit like tension on the outside, okay? So we end up with a nice sausage shape. Okay, we dust a little bit more flour. We turn on its back and you see this seam. We're just gonna pinch this seam. Okay, so it's completely sealed. Okay. So like that. Okay. So that seam is completely sealed and that goes on the bottom. Okay. And we give it a little bit of a roll. So again, seam on the bottom. Okay, and that's the start of our bloomer. Okay, so we want the tension around the outside so it expands nicely because uh, we're not using a sandwich tin, we're going to use the elasticity of the dough to prove up. Okay, so that's like that. So we leave it for just, two, two, just five minutes. We're gonna put our bread onto a tray, okay? So lightly greased, flat metal tray, okay? And all we're gonna do is gently pick it up, okay? And lay it in the tray, okay? Just make sure it's nice and even, so it rises even, okay? You haven't got one like chunky bit and one thin bit. Okay, so it's nice and even. We're then gonna dust it with a little bit of flour. Okay, rub it all, so the whole thing is gently covered or just a little bit covered with some flour. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna take a knife. Okay. And we're gonna cut some scores on it, just like that, okay. Just little ones, so as it proves, they will open up, and then we're going to get our nice effect for our bloomer. Okay, so that's now going to prove for about an hour, hour and a half, just double in size. Okay. <laughs> 